Our offering this morning is going towards All Nations Heritage Sunday. Um, this is part of <clears throat> the ministry of our denomination, and we have seen throughout the past uh, year, uh, year and a half, two years especially, how absolutely critical a ministry like All Nations Heritage Sunday and uh, the Office of Race Relations within the denominations it is. Um, you know, not only within our denomination, of course, um, <clears throat> the reality is that there is, uh, as much as we might hate to admit it, uh, there is racism within our denomination. And uh, there is racism often within ourselves, even if we are not fully aware of that. We have so much bias against, often, the people who feel like they are other or different from us. And so we have seen uh, this past year that this ministry, race, the Office of Race Relations, is more critical than ever. Uh, not only is it critical within our denomination, but of course, uh, building reconciliation and relationship with, between all people, all of Christ's image bearers throughout the world is more critical than ever. It is absolutely essential. And so we would ask you to prayerfully consider your offering for uh, this week as you consider the realities of our world. <clears throat> As I mentioned, uh, please continue to pray for Lita, of course, uh, continue to pray as well for Hinka and for the rest of the extended Harmsma family as well. Um, yeah, let us, uh, Hinka and, and the family are, are, are doing well, of course, but um, yeah, it is uh, grief to have lost Pete, um, and there are many among us who struggle with grief, uh, who struggle with loneliness, uh, anxiety, depression, uh, and so on. So let us, let us come before the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so very much that, that, <coughs> excuse me, that you created a world that is full of color and beauty. We think not only, of course, of the plants and animals around us, of the very elements themselves, of the beauty of the stars of the heavens, and all of the, the seemingly almost infinite variety of varieties of galaxies and, and stars. But we think also of the beauty of the the tones of our skin, the wide variety of cultures and ethnicities that are found among humans. Lord, you have painted a beautiful rainbow of skin tones among us. And yet, O oh God, <clears throat> for whatever bizarre and unfortunate reasons, including even some supposedly Christian theology from the past, there have often been divides built between people who are your image bearers and, and who also have different skin colors or different backgrounds or come from different geographic areas. Lord, forgive us for that. Forgive us for our own biases which we hold, which we are sometimes not even aware of. Lord, please help <clears throat> the Office of Race Relations and help each and every one of us to celebrate the beauty and diversity of humanity throughout this world. Lord, please, may these our tithes and offerings be to your glory. <clears throat> Lord, please, would you guide not only the Office of Race Relations, but all of those 
who are moving and working to provide reconciliation and build bridges between people of different races, ethnicities, cultures, and creeds. May we truly recognize that each and every person is your image bearer. Father, we pray in our own congregation for those who are struggling with health concerns. Lord, we think of all those (coughs) who are battling cancer among us. But we also think, Lord, of those who are battling other diseases, conditions, and sicknesses. Lord, we think particularly of Lita. We thank you so much that she is home. Lord, we pray that you will be with Bill and Lita as um, they continue to work together for her recovery. Lord, we thank you for her friends, for her family, for uh, the folks in our congregation who have expressed their love and concern. I know that Bill was just feeling so grateful for all those who had reached out to him in this time. Lord, we pray as well for Hinka and for the rest of the extended Harmsma family as they continue to process their grief and step into a world that for now is without Pete. Lord, we pray for all of those among us who grieve Lord, would you comfort us? We think, O Lord, of your Sermon on the Mount, where you say, Blessed are those who grieve, for they will be comforted. And so, Lord, we turn to you for that comfort. Father, we pray as well for this congregation and for all of the congregations in Athens and Addison and the surrounding area, O God. Many of them are starting or have already started in-person services again. Many of them are, are, are ramping up their programming and their ministries. Lord, we just pray your blessing upon them, O God. Lord, The population of the village of Athens could fit very nicely and completely into the six churches in this village. And so, Lord, we pray that there will be a revival among the people of Athens, that the gospel would spread among the people of Athens so that each and every congregation here in town is full to the brim of people singing your praise and supporting one another in love. Lord, we pray as we come to your scriptures that we may do so with awe and reverence. May your words open up in our hearts what you would have us hear. May we go from this place to shine as stars in this dark world. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.